Have you ever done something that simple that you can't work out how and why it works? Take a look at this. Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Leo. Thank you for joining me today. If you're a new subscriber, I really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. But thank you ever so much for joining me here today. I'd like to say a quick thank you first to a couple of people. My good friend Mandy for printing me some mug, for doing me some mugs, some happy snappy mugs. These won't be going up for sale just as yet, but you will be able to get your hands on them. I will tell you a bit more in a future video, so I'll look out for that one. And I'd like to thank my mate Kerr for doing me some mats to go in my mugs. And it was a bit of a joke when he gave them me. And it, this is sort of coming to people who know my brand now. So I, I, I'm happy with that. Like I said, have you ever done something that you can't understand how it works and why it works? Well, I have the last couple of weeks. I've been working with a little bit more, so a bit more of a material that I've just tried out the blue because it was there in front of me, and I thought, will it work? And it worked. And I can't understand how easy it was. And I tried the last couple of weeks. I think, oh, am I going to put this into a video because it is the simplest thing I've ever done. And you know me, I love simple, and this is super, super simple. And when you see it, you're going to laugh because anybody and anyone can do this. There's no flash involved in it. Just macro lens or extension tubes, normal lens, some basic settings, a light, or the light that I'm saying, I'm using one of those light bulbs with different colours, a bit of glass out of a picture frame, and some of this stuff. This is Vaseline. And all it is, is also known as petroleum jelly. And it's lovely. It's got a lovely, lovely texture to it. And when you actually get close and put it on something, it gives you some amazing effects. And because it's like a dull colour, it doesn't burn out too much neither. You can control it. And you can get some lovely textures and actually sculpt it to where you want. And unlike water, water drops, it doesn't evaporate, which is a bonus. So today, I'm going to show you what I'll do with this and how easy it is. So get ready because, like I keep saying, it's simple and this is too simple. So this is the easiest way I can put it because it's too simple. So stay tuned. This is probably going to be one of the easiest shots I've ever done. And this is what I say, it's too easy that I can't believe it. So don't blink because I guarantee you're going to miss this one. That's how quick it is to set up and do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my picture. This is a picture that my wife taken. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly take the glass out of it. And she does now, I've got it. I'm going to put that flat on the, on the surface. That's, that is it, yeah? You can if you want. Use any background cards or something and then reflect it off. It's just your own personal opinion, but I'm not. I'm just going to just use this white surface like that. Simple as the bigger the piece of glass, the better, because the light will help you um, put the colour around a lot more. But I'm just going to use a smaller one to piece today because I ain't got a big one. The glass will always give you a nice reflection. The handle that you put it at is, is you know, is, is going to give you the reflection. So that's that done. Next, I'm going to get out of Vaseline with a cotton wool bud, or you can use your finger like that. Is I'm just going to sculpt what I want until I like what I see. 
Now don't rush, and it don't make no difference if you get it wrong the first time, does it? Right. That's that done. If you get any excess, all you want to do is, like I say, get a cotton wool bud and just wipe it, and that'll take your excess off, nice and easy. If you don't want too much excess on it, and like I say, it does get everywhere, it's like a greasy feel to it. Next, I'm just gonna get my camera. This is my trusty 750D with my 100mm lens. I've got a trigger lease on, or you can use a two second timer. This is because I'm gonna be doing a longer exposure today to try and, you know, because I ain't using a flash. I'm gonna be using a light bulb. So that's what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and focus in and see what, it, what I get. And I'm quite liking the focusing on that one. The best about this is you can have it as big as you subject, as big as you want, because obviously, you know, if you if, if you ain't got a macro lens, you can use a kit lens with an extension tube on and just put a bigger piece on. Simple as done, so don't really need a macro lens. I'm just going to take a quick shot of that to see what it looks like before I add anything. Right, I quite like that now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start introducing my light. And all I'm going to do with my light is put it over the top, press my trigger release, and have a look at that straight away. It's okay, no editing, but looks okay to me. So then all I'm going to do now is start moving the light around until I get something I like. That's quite nice. The settings are so simple. This. At the minute, I've got this at one eighth for the power. The power might be different to how long your, what your light is in the house or whatever light you're using. You haven't got to use that. You can use a colored filter. You can use normal torch. You can use UV torch, anything. But like I say, I've been using this, but you can use a flash as well and bounce it off the back with a card with your card and it'll work just the same and it's quite simple it is quite simple to do i'm on f9 isl 100 like i say you're gonna have to balance it round to get what you want so it is quite simple let's just try another quick color why am i at come on change let's try an orange one because i'll see if we can get a flaming burn let's check my focus again Like that. It's just a case of moving your light round to get what you like. Try a bit more redder one. There you go. And because I'm firing down at an handle, it means that actually this is my background, not not this. The actual shadow on the glass. When I put this on the top, is the shadow. This shadow there is going to be the highlights. This is going to be your background, and if not, that's why you need to put a bit more of an handle on it. Pick one and blue one. I'm in a little bit of a bluey mood this week. That is a bit blue. <laughs> that's a bit better. So now, that is it. That is so simple, I can't make it no harder, if you know what I mean, because simple settings, and it's worked brilliant. 1A for the power, F9, ISO 100, a bulb, some of that stuff, a piece of glass, done. Did say it was gonna be easy. I did say it was gonna be simple. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I couldn't have made it no easier than what I have because it's blown my mind that I've got pictures like I have using this substance and I had to share it with you all because people was asking and it was unreal. Thank you very, ever so much. If you're a new subscriber to my channel, I appreciate it. And thank you ever so much if you're already a subscriber. You're absolutely brilliant. If you could share and share, share, share and don't forget hit that subscribe button. I'll be most appreciative. I am gonna drop some more picture up at the end but if you want to look at more pictures, join me, join me on my 
uh, Instagram, 1977 Leo, and I'm there. Also, you can share your pictures on the Instagram and my Facebook page. I look forward to seeing your pictures. So please, please, please get posting. And thank you very, very much. And until next time, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Stay safe and happy snapping. <laughs>